everyone, it's Miss Sims here. Today we are starting a brand new project inspired by Earth Day since Earth Day is this week. And I am really excited to go ahead and get started with you. It's going to be just a fun directed draw that is something I learned from Art for Kids Hub, which is a great YouTube that you can use. Um, but I wanna get right into it. Here we go. So today we're going to be working on a project that is all about Earth Day. Before we start, we need to know what the goals for this art project are. The first one are to create images that overlap. And so when we do this as a directed draw, you'll notice that you have a line on your earth that you did not draw through. And that's really important and something that we're working on to grow as artists in kindergarten, first and second grade. You're also going to have a theme for your artwork. In this case, it is going to be the earth. So your artwork should have the earth. Your earth should be happy because that's what we're trying to make the theme. And the colors you use should also be colors that you normally see on earth, like blue and green. For this project, you'll need a blank piece of paper, a pencil that has an eraser, a black marker, and something to color with. You can choose your coloring utensils. It could be markers, crayons, colored pencils. I'm going to use colored pencils. If you decide that you want to use paint though, make sure the marker you use is a permanent marker or the paint will mess up the marker that you draw with. Now this is a direct to draw, so you will need to follow along with me pretty carefully, but as you do it, feel free to pause the video, rewind the video, anything you need so that you can hear the instructions again if you need to. A lot of what we're doing today is going to be in permanent marker, so make sure that you understand the direction before you start drawing because we can't erase. All right, I'm ready and I hope you are too. Let's go ahead and get started. My paper is lined up vertically, that means up and down. I also have my pencil out that has an eraser on it. The first thing we are going to do is a drawing technique called sketching. And it means we're drawing where it's not the most perfect. We do very light lines and we can kind of go over lines that we didn't like very much. We can erase lines. And basically what we're doing is we're going to make a good sized circle. It doesn't need to fill up your whole page. It's going to be towards the middle, but you should have a little more room left at the top than we do at the bottom, if you see what it looks like on here. Now that you have your circle the way you want it, we're going to add two lines towards the side that kind of go diagonal down from the edge. You'll notice the line on top I did a little shorter than I did the line on bottom. I'm going to do that again in the same place but on the other side of my circle. The next thing we're going to do is basically add an upside down U to the lines we just created. It's going to go from the bottom line around the shorter line and connect back to the earth. So both of your lines won't connect if you see what I did on mine right here. See how it goes around and it doesn't connect to the shorter line? You can keep moving this line around. Remember this is sketching until you get it exactly the way you want it. That's what I'm doing here. Once you have it the way you want it, you can do the same thing on the other side of your earth. So here's the part where we really start working on our goal of things overlapping. We need to get our eraser out and we need to erase the part of the line that goes between the earth and the two lines we made. So it's basically part of the earth we're erasing on the edge. So now we kind of have this candy cane shape that doesn't have any lines going through it on either side. This could be a good place to pause and make sure that yours looks like mine before you move on to the next step. The next thing we need to do are trace the lines that we've already made with our black or permanent marker. So I'm doing these candy cane shapes first. You'll notice that that line that we erased, we no longer put it through anymore. I'm also going to trace the outside of the circle that I already made. Once you've finished that, be sure to take some time to erase any of the pencil marks that are left on the outside of your earth so that way they don't show through anymore. For the rest of the time, we're going to continue to use the permanent marker. And the first thing we're going to do is make another kind of upside down U on either side of the line we made on top. These are gonna be thumbs for a person who we're making hands for. And so we're kind of making a mitten. That was a backward C and now we can make a regular C so that it looks like hands are coming around and hugging the earth. I'm also adding two or three lines on the part of the hand so you can see where each finger would be instead of it just looking like a mitten. After you're done with that, we can start making more details on the earth. And the first thing is going to be a smile. Close to the middle, you are going to make a very small, little, thin, smiley face. We're going to add some loops to the side so that it turns down, and we're going to connect it together so it kind of looks like a beam. 
That is going to be a nice big smile and we'll add another upside down U with a little line so that it looks like its tongue is showing. We're also going to add some circles for the eyes that are kind of close to the mouth. This will give it a really cute look, even though it won't look as realistic as a real eyes and mouth that we might normally draw. You can color in the eyes and you can also color in the inside of the mouth, just don't color in the tongue yet. Now we need to create the land and the water that our earth actually has, and this is going to help us practice some more overlapping. It might go through a portion of your earth's smile, maybe the hand, but you want to make sure you stop your marker from going and then start again on the other side so we don't see that line going through. The rest of the time today is for you to color. You're going to color the inside blue for the ocean. You can even overlap different shades of blue to make it look even more realistic. You'll color the different shapes that you created, those organic shapes green, and you'll color in the tongue pink. Make sure that you don't color in the arms yet because we are going to work on that next week when we add the body of the person who's hugging the earth. I hope you had fun. Um, come back next week though so we make sure we can finish this art project together, finish coloring it in, and we can see exactly what your person holding the earth looks like. I hope you have a great earth week and I will see you next time.